from Iowa's sports leader. This is KCCI 8 Sports. Sunny skies, a home game at Kinney Stadium, and a Hawkeye team scoring at will. It was almost too good to be true for Iowa fans on Saturday. Northwestern in the house. The Hawkeyes were looking to bounce back from the loss at Maryland. And Kirk Ferentz's game plan? Feed the juggernaut. Opening drive, 240-pound Mark, uh, Mark Wiseman from <laughs> Mark Juggernaut, sure, why not? From eight, seven nothing Hawkeyes. You know, he has had fewer carries this year. They want to keep him fresh for the stretch run. Welcome to the stretch run. Wiseman from 14. It's 17 nothing Hawkeyes. A career high three touchdowns for Wiseman. Still in the first quarter. Northwestern punting. Ben Neiman blocking and scoring. Just kind of was right up there on a the plate for him. Everything going Iowa's way. 24 zip after the first quarter. Yes. They're not going to stop there. Second quarter, Jake Rudock up top. Tavon Smith, a beauty. 31 yard score. Iowa posts a season high 48 and allows a season low 7. 48 7 the final. As Andy Garman reports, it was Iowa's best game of the season. So much of the talk this football season has been the running game or lack thereof for the Iowa Hawkeyes this year. Today, November 1st, the Hawks broke loose. Mark Weissman near 100 yards rushing, and Akram Wadley breaks the 100 yard mark the first time an Iowa back this year has gotten past the century mark. If we're going to be a good, we have to run the ball effectively, and uh, Mark gave us, uh, you know, gave us good juice there, especially in that first half, and then. I'll uh, be we able to get him out in the second half, which is a good thing, and get uh, get Akram some carries. He hasn't really played very much, as you know. He's fast, though. Hits that whole hits that whole hard. Brings a different dimension to this team, and it's it's really good to have. We'll see a lot of Akram Wadley in the future, definitely. With the offense clicking on all cylinders, the defense really rose to the occasion as well. Louis Trinka Passat had three first half sacks. <laughs> and and linemate Carl Davis made things difficult for the Wildcats as well. We just played like it was 0 0 the whole game. That's something that Coach Morgan kept saying 0 0. Because, you know, the past couple of weeks we've been up also like 14 or 21 points. And, you know, we also lost the lead. So, we, you know, we learned from our mistakes. And we, we knew we had to keep going until that clock hit zero today. And, and that's what we did. After a comfortable home win today, it is now two in a row on the road, beginning with the battle for Floyd of Rosedale next Saturday in Minneapolis facing the Golden Gophers. At Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City, I'm Andy Garman, KCCI, Iowa Sports Leader.